a demonstration or simulation of the characteristics of a transistor. On the screen you can see you have a breadboard and you have a transistor here, the emitter base collector are shown here and you on this side there is a power supply which has got two outputs, one is for the VBB or the base supply, the other one is the VCC supply that we already saw even here you can see the same circuit is shown, there is one IC meter and there is one IB meter, current meter and the two power supplies, that is all you require for doing the characteristics of the transistor. Now, the, there are two multimeters on to your right, the first one is measuring the base current, you can if you follow the two curves you can see it is connected here with the base supply, it comes in series with the base and the emitter junction of the transistor. Similarly on the collector side I have one more ammeter, the multimeter used as an ammeter, milliammeter and that is uh, for measuring the IC, the collector current. So I have the two power supplies and I have two current meters, ammeters and voltmeters all made out of multimeters, digital multimeters chosen in the current range. Now all that I have to do is let me switch on the power supply, let me switch on the voltmeter, current meters, two current meters, now I am ready, I will now vary the VBB, the base voltage in steps of 100 millivolts and as I vary this you can see the corresponding current, base current keeps increasing. Now it is 4 microamperes for 400 millivolt, I increase to 500 millivolt, it goes to 5 microampere. So if I keep on doing that for 1000 millivolt or 1 volt, you find it is about 10 microamperes in a typical case. Uh, this is reasonably, I mean it is a large voltage, even less than that you would get. Okay, now what I am going to do is, I am going to vary the VCC supply which is at the bottom continuously in steps of let us say 0.5 and see what happens to the collector current. I am going to keep the IB constant, the base current constant and I am going to vary the VCC and for every value of VCC I apply, I will measure what is the collector current. Now let me increase, now it is 0.5 and it is now 0.1 milliampere IC. Now it is 1 volt VCE and it is 0.5, 1.5 it is about 1 milliampere, 2 volts now it is 1.5 milliampere, 2.5 it is about 2 milliampere, 3 it remains at 2 milliampere, 3.5 again 2 milliampere. So you can see beyond 2.5 even if I go up to let us say 6 or 7 or 8 volts, you would find the milliameter shows the same value of IC which is 2 milliamperes. That is what we saw in the characteristics. Now let me quickly come back to 0 for the VCC and increase my base current from 10 microamperes to the next value which is for example for 2 volts 20 microamperes. Now let me keep increasing the VCC and as I increase, please observe what happens to the IC, you would find IC keeps on increasing, the moment I come to 2.5, it is now 4 milliamperes, beyond that you find it continues to be in 4 milli, it has already reached the saturation value and it is now 4 milliamperes for all the different voltages that I apply at the VCC, VCE voltage. So, I can keep doing it for different values of IB and I have shown here the characteristics you can immediately see when the voltage IB is 10 microamperes, the IC is constant at 2 milliamperes, when the IB is 20 microamperes, it is constant at 4 milliamperes, etc. and this is exactly the characteristics that we saw in the previous case when I discussed about the output characteristics of a transistor. So now we have done an experiment, simulated experiment to observe the output characteristics of a transistor. Yeah, same experiment can be performed in the lab and you would get almost similar characteristics.